Getting into TUM is known to be hard, but there are actually 24 different degree programs that will accept you regardless of how good or bad your grades are. This might be interesting for you to know with which programs you are on the safe side, but there's a big catch that you should be aware of when applying to these programs. The different schools that offer programs that have unrestricted admissions are the TUM School of Engineering and Design, the TUM School of Life Sciences, the TUM Campus Straubing for Biotechnology and Sustainability, the TUM School of Computation Information and Technology, as well as the TUM School of Natural Sciences. But before we dive into these programs, there is one important thing to think about, one mistake to avoid at all costs, because this mistake would cost you a lot of time and might make your university experience horrible. Well, not horrible, but like, just think about it. I don't recommend to enroll in one of these programs simply because it is possible. You really want to think about whether the program is an actual fit for you. I mean, you don't want to end up in a program that you don't like and then quit after one or two semesters because it just isn't for you. You can definitely, definitely consider all of these, but think about whether they actually sound interesting to you. I went through all of the different programs that TUM offers and there are 24 degree programs that are in the admission category unrestricted admission. So this means you'll get a spot. So now let's have a look at the programs that will definitely accept you. And just to let you know, while you will definitely get into these programs, there are still some big downsides that I will talk about in the end of the video that you should definitely be aware of to know if it works for you. So now we're on the website and as you can see, there are 24 different programs lined up that we're gonna go through one by one. For each program, I'm just gonna talk about quickly what it is. They have a small summary, so I'm gonna read that through you as well as some key data. For example, the main location, which I personally think is interesting because actually not every single thing at the Technical University of Munich is actually in Munich. And we will see this in just a second. So first of all is the Bachelor of Science in Agricultural and Horticultural Sciences. It deals with processes of plant and animal production and associated fundamentals relating to the natural sciences, economics and ecology. Actually, a friend of mine is doing this and I personally like this a lot. I don't know, personal preferences, I guess. However, this is already the first example of degree programs that are not in Munich. This one is in Freising in Weinstefan, which is located about 30 minutes outside of Munich. It's a small and beautiful city with a little hill and the university has its own brewery, which is, I think, quite funny. It just takes a couple of clicks and then we'll see why. Also, fun fact, there are a lot of students, like a lot, a lot, a lot of students. So many students, in fact, that it has become the youngest city in all of Bavaria, so the state within Germany where Munich is. So with the youngest age average. Second degree is bioeconomics. Sustainability and environmental protection are becoming increasingly important in industry, society, politics, education and research. Bioeconomics strives toward the transition from fossil to biogenic raw materials. My bachelor was also very similar to this one. Um, a bit different, but quite similar, and the classes that you have there, in my opinion, are very, very interesting. This is already the second exemption, so you'll see this one, the main location is Straubing. Straubing is also not Munich. Some people actually ended up there without even knowing that they were not in Munich, and then they realized that it's like one and a half hours train ride to Munich, which is quite a distance, I would say. So, because I did my bachelor's there, I know what it is like, and there you will have less bars, less restaurants, less events in general, but the community there is just amazing. It's very international, and it just feels like a very big family. Also, if you're into sustainability, this is the best place you can go. So the next one is not bioeconomics anymore, now it's bioeconomy. It's two different degrees and it sounds very, very similar. It's at the same campus, also in Straubing. In light of the climate crisis, scarcity of raw materials and changing consumer behavior, the shift towards a sustainable resource and technology management is imperative. Students of the bachelor's program in bioeconomy learn to shape the social and economic transformation towards sustainability. Honestly, I don't know the exact differences. You should probably check it out on your own. And yeah, as I said, it's also in Straubing. Next, we have biogenic materials. The finiteness of petroleum and fossil-based raw materials and structural changes towards a bioeconomy require the development of innovative biogenic materials. A particular challenge is combining the requirements regarding processability and high-performance properties with sustainability aspects. As you see, this is also very, very much into sustainability, which already gives you a hint that it's also in Straubing. Now we have the brewing and beverage technology. As it says in the name, there's brewing, 
so we know why the campus in Freising has its own brewery. It's super cool. The bachelor's program Brewing and Beverage Technology deals with the engineering, biological, technological and biochemical process of beverage production and brewing. Let's go to the next one. Now you can become a master brewer. So it's not the master of science or something. No, it's the master brewer, which I think is super cool. Chemical biotechnology. Chemical biotechnology is key in the sustainable and resource conserving designs of goods and value chains. Students of the bachelor's degree program in chemical biotechnology, learn to understand and analyze biogenic materials, tools and processes and put them to use for industrial processes. Also in Straubing. By the way, I linked you all of the programs down in the description below. Then we have civil engineering. The bachelor's program in civil engineering provides a sound understanding of the fundamentals required to construct buildings and structures, as well as to acquire, develop and maintain viable sites. This is now the first program in our list that is held in Munich. It's held at the main campus. This is just in the heart of Munich and I did a campus tour of that so you can watch to find out how it looks there and what the campus offers. Next we have electrical engineering and information technology. Industry 4.0, chip design or AI. Innovations to solve key challenges are unthinkable without electrical engineering and information technology. Students on the course learn to develop, design and manufacture devices, equipment and systems according to the specific requirements. And this also takes place in Munich. Next one is the Bachelor of Science in Environmental Engineering. It combines a profound education in engineering and natural sciences with interdisciplinary skills focused on the environment and also in Munich. Then we have food technology. It deals with engineering, biological, technological and biochemical processes of the entire value chains in food production. In addition, economic aspects are covered. And this one is in Weinstefan, which is also basically Freising. Then we have the Bachelor of Science in Forest Science and Resource Management. The program aims to teach students how to make sustainable use of resources with reference to the example of the forest and wood as renewable resource. In addition to well-founded specialist knowledge, it demands a comprehensive understanding of systems and extensive methodological competencies. This one is also by Stefan, again, it's, it, it's Freising. Then we have geodesy and geoinformation. It deals with the documentation of the anthroposphere. It deals with it through the use of surveys conducted at ground level from the air and from outer space, as well as with processing and representation of geoinformation. Again, this is held in Munich, as well as the next one, which is geosciences. So geodesy and geosciences is apparently something different. And geosciences is actually a joint program with the Technical University of Munich and another big university in Munich, which is the Ludwig Maximilians University Munich. Pharmaceutical Bioprocess Engineering. It combines scientific and engineering fundamentals for biotechnological production in the pharmaceutical industry and related fields. Physics. Haha. <laughs> Here we have another campus. So the bachelor program in physics provides a wide ranging general education in the discipline and enables students to pursue their first individual specialization. This is now held in Garching. Garching is basically the most modern and the biggest campus of TUM. And it's located just outside of Munich, which is super accessible with the subway. Super cool campus, honestly. Also probably one of the only campuses because in Germany there are not many enclosed campuses, rather it's just scattered buildings. But this one is an actual campus and it's super cool. Now we have teaching at academic secondary schools, scientific education. This is now a Bachelor of Education. It is specifically designed for students aiming to become teachers at German academic secondary schools. This one takes apparently place in three different locations or maybe you can choose. You should just look into it if you if this is what you want to do. Then we have technology of biogenic resources. In this program, students will get a combination of special knowledge and interdisciplinary skills in the fields of energy, process engineering, plant cultivation, as well as chemistry, in order to transform our technology and industry onto a sustainable basis. The sustainability keyword again, so this means it's in Straubing, in the campus of sustainability and biotechnology. And lastly, we have six more bachelors of education, which are teaching at vocational schools. So this is specifically designed for students aiming to become teachers at German vocational schools. And you have six different fields, which include agriculture, electrical engineering and information technology, health and healthcare sciences, metal engineering, nutrition and home economics, as well as structural engineering. So now we covered all of the programs. However, the unrestricted admissions have three big downsides. The last point is something you want to know about. It's not that the programs are bad, but with unrestricted degree programs, there will be typically many, many people and there might be more people that drop out after first semester 
than in other programs. There might be people that are just enrolled because it is easy, but they don't want to actually put effort into their studies and pursue their degree. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with having this attitude and just look whether it works out or not. But if you're one of the students who want to finish the degree, it is important to have friends that share this journey with you. And while in other programs where it might be harder to get into, most people are eager to study and help each other out. Now in these programs, it might be harder to identify these people in the unrestricted admission programs, at least in the first semester and before many people drop out. The second downside is that there are only bachelor programs offered. And the final downside is that all of these programs are mostly or completely in German language. So while there are other programs that offer you the possibility to study a program as a foreigner without German language skills, these programs are only possible for you to study if you can speak German at least at a B2 level, which is quite high. Nevertheless, I think it is amazing that there are programs out there that have unrestricted admission. And especially if you want to pursue one of these programs anyway, this is just perfect for you. Have a good day. See you in the next one.